That's all he got up in that Mac is single. Why you worried about mine? How you gonna police my not? That was <laughs> that was Whack song of the of week. Exena like Wild featuring uh, Mac and uh, Rocky. Rocky. I'm single. I'm single. But you're now tuned into me 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 million dollars worth of game powered by Barstool Sports. Yo, we gonna get straight into we gonna get straight into the sponsors. Wait, wait, get wait, it out wait, the wait, way. Nigga, I, I like to introduce myself. I don't know about you, raggedy ass nigga. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow two six seven. Don't call me white. But girl. she look like a white girl, so call a white girl when you see it. Even though she gonna say, "Don't call me white girl." Don't call me white. Tony the closer. What's up? AKA the clo the Tony the tackler. Mm-hmm. We're going to get right into these sponsors, Manscaped.com. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Manscaped.com. You get 20% off free shipping when you use code Millions. One thing about Manscaped, they got everything that you need. They got mm-hmm. the code. I'm talking about the crop. What the hell? The crop. Somebody, somebody grabbed me. I thought somebody was trying to grab my cheeks. I didn't know what the fuck was going no, on. Right. I got a trauma flashback. from prison. I, felt, I was like, whoa, that's, what the fuck? I'm just cra- being on some point. crabs you got you're jumping around here, in your drawers. No, something, you're safe felt, here. No, it just felt like something some grabbed crabs me. crabs you got jumping around all in your drawers. Give him a hug. Like he needs a hug. Grabbed, Do you need a hug? No, Gil, Give him a hug. Give hug, Gil. He's better with physical. Give him a hug. Give him a little squeeze. Go ahead. Listen, man, one thing about one thing about Manscaped, they got the crop preserver. Mm-hmm. That's the ball deodorant. They got the crop retreat re- reviver, right? That thing is, is like a ball toner. Bring, you know, keep your things right. It got the, <laughs> the crop cleanser, which is the body wash. It got the crop mop, which is the balls wipes. You see what I'm saying? You, you know, you, you might be out there. Things get a little musty. You got to wipe them up. Whoop, whoop, wipe your balls up. I didn't been there before. But you know what's crazy? Before I used these, I was using like regular wipes. Uh, like them alcohol joints, I didn't know no better. I'd be out there, damn, I'm sweating. Uh, wipe my so you know, you got the ball wipes, you got the the foot, the foot duster, the foot deodorant, and you got the lawnmower 3.0 trimmer. Listen, all products is vegan. One thing I like about Manscaped, once again, you get 20% off. You get free shipping when you go to manscaped.com and you use code million. This well, episode right. of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you. By Amazon Music. If Amazon you love music. music, you love streaming, well, why would you stream with anybody else than Amazon Music? Amazon Music has millions of songs, thousands of podcasts to stream, and guess what? It's all free. So, like... All free. All free. So, Amazon Music, you get thousands of stations playlists all at no charge when you subscribe to amazon music unlimited like you know me and wallow do even more unlimited access to 60 million songs on demand always ad free so you can play the songs you want whenever you want to hear them so it ain't no ads you ain't got to listen to no commercials you ain't got to do none of that you just punch it it come right up oh you want a podcast it it come right up oh you want a certain song it it come right up. Sounds like a martial what? artist. I like this. Yeah, guess what though? It's all for free. So if you if you love Amazon Music and like I do, subscribe now. Unlimited. Right now. All the new subscribers can get Amazon, Amazon Music. Music unlimited for free. 
30 days. Go to Amazon.com slash millions. That's Amazon.com. I know y'all looking at me slash and saying millions. Wallow look a little cool over there. He look yes, yes. Felix Gray glasses.com got me in pocket. You see this, you see my style. I'm styling on them. Check me out. Schoolboy prep. All that stuff. I like your schoolboy. Right? Like did because you know why? Felix Gray glasses.com hook me up what i need you to do is go in there you know backslash you know game you know 30 day free i'm talking about listen i don't care what's going on i'm talking about return i'm talking about totally you can ret- I'm, anything you want to do you can return it but the thing about these that i like it don't just come with the glasses you get the hard case you get the cloth just the player cloth see players clean a glass you get the cloth <laughs> you get the whole i'm talking about <laughs> hand finished durable super lightweight italian i'm talking about over two Hundred thousand happy customers. I'm talking about filter fifteen times more blue light. Listen, man, feel is great. Glasses. dot com slash game right now. Check them out. Now let's get into this episode with a million dollars worth of game, man. Right? Oh, no, you ain't tight. Right. Oh, you like playing with mics, huh? <laughs> know what you would have been doing in jail? That's it, another man. story. Let's get into a million dollars worth of game, man. Let's talk to the youth, right? Because you know we like to get a youth game, right? And I want to talk about. How dedication and motivation leads to elevation, man. Yes. You hear me? How dedication, motivation will lead to elevation, man. You got to understand, coming from a person like me who I've been kicked, I've been, I've been, I've been thrown out to the, to the dead. I've been put in the trash. But yes. one thing about me, oh, you want to speak on that song? I will say that... Um, in this industry that we're in this entertainment thing it's very rare for somebody to be able to um reach a certain light or reach a certain um level and then stay there let alone lose that and be able to gain it back again that's why one hit wonder is a term because people usually get one chance at this shit and then it's over whether it's their fault or not sometimes it's just your time and sometimes it's not you have, in my opinion, came back to life in this shit three times. Three times? Three times. So he was wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, hold on. So you saying I, I died three times and came back to life? How the fuck that? Wait, 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 I would on. say so. I would say you was at a point where a motherfucker might have said, ah, look at that nigga, to a nigga saying, damn, look at that nigga, three times. Okay. Could be the same nigga saying it. Okay. Because well, who knows you niggas watching? Well, well, you made some valid points right there. It probably was a lot of niggas who thought when, you know, when I was going through my down times that I would never bounce back like Spalding in the playoffs. But I'm a, I'm a nigga that understand that it ain't never about the fall. It's always about to get back. That's a fact. You feel what I'm saying? And I understand that life ain't about who you know. It's about what you know. I mean, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. You and feel how me? you know them. And how you know them. Because at the end of the day, right, I got about... 10 homies that I'm friends with that if I ever fell flat, I'm talking about flat on my face, I can make a call and I'll be right back. Mm. Because it's about who I know. Mm. And it's about how I know them. And it's about how I dealt with them when they might have been down. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Or it might have been how I dealt with them in some some different type of situation. So dedication and motivation to lead to elevation. But you got to put the fucking work in. Yeah, you got to uh, stop looking at Instagram and thinking you, you're looking at the end game. You're not looking at the practice. You're not looking at trying to get on the team. You not look at growing up watching the game and studying the game before you even could be a part of the game. You don't look at that. Don't nobody look at that. Everybody is so focused on you're so focused on the end game. You so focused. You you only show up to the celebration and you say, okay, I just want the celebration. Right. Oh no no. Fuck springing my ankle. Fuck practice. Fuck studying the game. Fuck re- looking at the tapes. Fuck all that. I just want listen. I just want to sell. I mm-hmm. want to be on the floor at the celebration. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's the game. Because oh, social media, champagne. so social media. Oh, that's why I don't like championships. I don't want to buy foreign <laughs> champagne on me. 
fuck. That's why if I was in the NBA or you know, that any of them, if I'd have made it to the league, like, if I'd have made it to the league, no, no, no. Like I told you before, if I would have made it to the league, I'd have never won a championship. I'd have fucked it up. Then no, we not winning no chips because you don't want to get champagne. I don't want no another man. You be sweating there. You touching me, pouring. You popping bottles on me. You used to do that to the women in the strip joints and all that, okay. in the jacuzzi when they used to so go to the end of the dub. So you so you won't let so so you won't win a championship. You don't want to win. Hold on. So you won't you won't win a championship, championship be, be one of the best teams in the world in the locker room celebrating Charles Barkley the best champagne on you, champagne but on him. you let niggas pour chocolate milk on you up to jail. Oh Why shit. Why would I let somebody do that? <laughs> Fuck would I let somebody pour some chocolate milk when on you? When y'all won the karaoke Because you was the warm cookie. No, oh, no, oh no shit. <laughs> shit just got dark. I'm going to just say this, Damn. man. I'm going to just say this. I'm gonna just what say this. Keep fuck? that fucking smut off my name. Cause you got people in the street stepping to me, man. No, stop your head like they no seriously, what he's seeing is it's blood, sweat, and tears. It's blood, sweat, and tears. At the end of the day, stop looking at the end game. Social media is the end game. Right. Ain't nobody gonna show you that they lost money. Ain't no. And then you got people right now. You got people being motivated by cat. By cat. By big it's cat. A lie. I'm talking about big. You got people really being motivated by big cat. Mm -hmm. And I want to say something to the people that's out there. That that's really doing something. You know, we, we hit a situation where a lot of businesses was ever to get funding that they probably never had in their life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? More money than they, they ever made. You know what I mean? Just got the government gave up bread and all that. But what I'm seeing is, and we got to wake up, too many people is so focused on showing the consumers the lifestyle that they forget to be consistent with their brand and be consistent with bringing the consumers good products. Right. They backed up off of that because they just want to show the lifestyle of, look at me on this trip, I'm flexing. Look at my new this. Look at my new this. Look mm -hmm. at my new this. Look mm -hmm. at my new this. The consumer is hip now. They hip to the lifestyle branding. Mm -hmm. They hip to all that shit. Don't get caught up to that to where though you deviate from the fucking product and you stop being consistent with the product that made the consumer love you. Right, mm -hmm. from the beginning. You got to respect your consumers mm -hmm. because it, it, flexing is cool. It's all right. You know, more power to you. That, that might not be my cup of tea, but I can't say it's wrong for anybody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just because, you know, I like the little Were things. you flexing in your Dita sweats? Yeah, well, that's cool. I mean, I got a bunch of them. They cheap. But at the end of the day, you went and bought the whole rack at Ross. Huh? I buy whole racks when I see them. I don't at play Ross, this shit. right? I, buy, I ball you out. Clear out the media. At Ross, Marshall, wherever I run into them at, on the stand down the way, I don't give. On and the then stand. Adidas send me some. Yeah, you I want some Aki beats. So the Adidas is half. See, that's what I'm saying. Off. I just no, want no, 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 no. Is they Aki? Did Adidas you get Adidas pants no, no. from the stand on Fifty Second Street? Can I say this? Can I say this? Can no, 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 no. Is they sign Lake? Clear it up. Clear it up. First of all, you buy. You don't know what I am. But I'm gonna say this. Uh, Can I, I say this? What, what, what are you? Like? Don't worry about oh, it. Okay. I'm one with the earth. Oh. I will say this. I, I will say <laughs> this one thing. Y'all, you know what? Black people fucks me up. Everybody always talking about support a black business. Support support Stanley on the fucking stand too. Mm. I like to support black businesses in a different way. But but listen, Stanley from the stand got some bootleg shit though. <laughs> Stanley from the stand went up Canal from the Street <laughs> and and. Them Air Force was Stanley or the stand got eight right. Them joints oh, is like cardboard. Hold in the, the fuck up. Hold so the fuck up. Hold the, the fuck up. Let me just Stanley say on the stand got the same thing. Got no leather at the let top. Let me just say this. Nobody wants the, 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 the bottoms nuggets. fall oh, out. Let me say this. A slice of pizza from Pizza Hut or a slice of pizza from Pat's is the same fucking thing. No, 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 it's, no, not. no, no it's not. The fuck is not. The fuck is King Pizza, pizza no, the best the pizza ever. I'm Absolutely. just saying, man. I'm y'all. Uh, but listen, support a support a business. Always talk support a black business, but y'all want to look down on 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 Abdullah. You know what I mean? And Stanley and Raheem, the jeweler. I have I something to, to say about black businesses. Um, I think that, um, you know, we all scream to support black businesses and shit, but it's twofold because you either pushing me to support this business because we're black, and that's the only reason. If the product is shitty, if it's another T-shirt line and I have everybody's T-shirt from their T-shirt line, why do I have to support that business because they're black? On the other side, I think that we're too critical of black businesses. I think you go to uh, Shaquita Soul Food, your cornbread cold one time and you write on social media. That's why I don't support us because it took too see, long see, see, and the cornbread was well, 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 I think we hold well, each other to too need to know what the fuck standard. we up against no. as black people and heat that fucking cornbread How many times up? have you had a bad experience at Walmart? How many times about? have you took your black ass back to fuck Walmart? About, I don't have no bad experience at Walmart. Fuck you talking about. You was a lie. You was a lie. First of all. Walmart on Boulevard like a war zone. Let me just tell you something. I, see, I'll go to Walmart and fucking Walmart. Fuck you talking about? I go to Walmart and Cherry Hill. Right. Fuck is wrong. <laughs> but I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this, though, Mona. It's a difference. God Mona. damn it. I'm going to say this, though. Motherfuckers fuck me up when y'all go in these little stores and shit. Because me, I'm a different type of motherfucker. So I be pissed off because... Y'all go into these these black restaurants and y'all make all these fucking complaints. Go on Instagram trying to sound somebody. And I'm going to say this. 
Like y'all ain't grew up with the, the roaches and little mice and the motherfucking <laughs> Listen. crib. Like I grew up in a motherfucking spot. Wait, 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 it wait, 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 hold on. Just, just, just because I grew up know. with a couple little Mickey Mouses and a couple <laughs> motherfucking uh, roaches, that don't fucking mean I want cold fucking cornbread. Shaniqua, no, put that fucking <laughs> cornbread in the microwave, bitch, Shaniqua. and throw that motherfucker on defrost or whatever the fuck you got to put How many times have you had listen, a cold listen, double cheeseburger listen, from McDonald's? But listen, but listen, how many times have you been to McDonald's? Come first on, of all, first of all, at the same time, at the same fucking time, I don't give a fuck if your name was Amber. Bitch, put that fucking okay. cornbread in the fucking microwave. What he says he's going to bitch wherever no, he at. No, no, no. He what I'm complain. saying is I don't give a fuck your black, black or white, white right. purple, motherfucking tan, motherfucking tangerine. Regardless of your race, he's going to cuss you out about you. that cold bitch, cornbread. Bitch, get my food right. Okay. Don't be, you You said some motherfucking, it could be a purple bitch, Barney. <laughs> Bitch, you sent some fucking cold cornbread out here, bitch. But listen, man. Well, on the I'm topic of what we're saying, though, you know, I think something that's God important, though, is servers. that we got to make sure that that the, the young people do understand that it's a process. It's low, a fucking low, process. Low, low hit on that part. So so important, man. Like, too many people want to shortcut that, 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 hey, let me get to the Dior store. It's amazing how many people. I was in the Dior store in Vegas. I'm like, damn. Fucking that, that PUA up, huh? Yeah, they in there. They fucking up some bread in, in, in Dior. But everybody want to get to that. I want the lamb truck. I want to. I want to be in Dior dropping, you dropping bags, but not nobody want to put that work in, and that's the problem where a lot of us going short. Where we trying to get there right now, and the mentality just has to shift to being like, yo. Sometimes everything is about the win, but you can still go through the practice. The like Low said, the the consistency, understanding that it might not be overnight, but you gonna you gonna get it if you continue to put the work in. Everybody trying to take that shortcut. Man, I know half them niggas that was in the stores are scamming. You know it. Like, you looking around, you're like, damn, bro, how are these niggas in here? Nah, you know, you know niggas out here with the uh Them black people worked hard with, for that the, money uh, in Dior. Shout out to the people. They got the little what's the name right now? The uh the uh damn credit card joints. Oh, uh, I don't know nothing about that. No, no they credit card scamming heavy out there right now. LA, Vegas, they they going crazy. All all the designer stores, nothing but niggas. You know what it is. But his glasses look mighty but, he talk but about yo, crimes. At the end of the day, I've I've seen so many people right now saying that they want to win, but they don't understand, like, yo, for for people looking like me, you, low, Mona, that that have been able to go from falling apart and then rebuilding yourself back up to having brands, notoriety or whatever it might be, that is not overnight. I caught you, I caught Tone on the rebuild. Yep. When he walked up, uh, we was in, uh, I forget the name of the restaurant in Baltimore near the water. Yep. Uh, when we first met, he was just like, man, I'm, you know, he's telling me his situation, how he building back up, boom, boom, boom. But he was putting the fucking work and building his program together to be able to come back. Like, in a, and, it, and it was, you was in the trenches. It wasn't like everything, people see you now, but this was like damn near a year when we first met and he was yep. like, it was different. So people don't be like, People don't see the trenches. They don't see the rain when motherfucker practicing in the rain, man. And it's mud a motherfucking way. The motherfucker body ache and they want to stop, but they gotta they gotta keep building their body up to be able to deal with when they get on the field. And like you know, everything is about right now. So my okay. whole thing is don't get caught up in right now. Stay focused. Stay dedicated. Uh, find people, places, and things that motivate you and push you, and uh, respect that. Yeah, but it don't take forever though. Like you'd no. be surprised what three months from now could look like for yep. you if you're consistent. Stay down. Like, yo, and, that's crazy. And y'all gotta stop looking at the finished product. Everybody look at the finished product, but they don't say, damn, how did the product get finished? It was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. It was a lot of days of doing what you didn't want to do mm -hmm. and doing what you gotta do so you could do what the fuck you want to do. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. See, I do what I got to do and what I don't want to do so I can do what the fuck I want to do. Speak on it. Don't see the finished product. Any finished product, but Michael Jordan didn't just come out the motherfucking vagina doing spin moves. You hear me? That was Jordan. But motherfucking Steph Curry didn't just drop out. His daddy ain't shooting him out the nuts, and he was shooting from 50 feet, man. I ain't just out of nowhere it became a, a, a five times black belt. It was work I had to put the fucking karate. Earl taught me things, and it was days I didn't want to go out there, but it was raining. Come out here. Run down the street. Bear Earl was it. putting that pressure on you, though. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. So Earl was putting that pressure on No, the fuck on he wasn't. Stop Today I'm going to teach you the African-American karate jiu-jitsu bun grip. 
No, he didn't fuck yes, touch he did. me. Yes, he did. <laughs> did anything inappropriate happen? Anytime he touched me, it's like when he'd kick me. You First know, of all, what grown ass like man that? just take 10 year old kids to the park just right. for the The park was in the neighborhood. Saying, that was a little crazy. It, was, it right wasn't there. a park, it was just, a little I'm island. Just, Everybody uh, know about that. I'm just saying. Right that, in front that, of my man Chris. That crib. was a little crazy. But uh, I got a little special surprise for y'all today. For me? He probably got something for you, Mona. Yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all know. One of my uh, good family members, Wallow's brother. Shout out to shout out to Troy. Shout out to Triz, man. You know Troy. Not Triz was some dumb Triz shit. Triz out of everybody. Is it safe to say Triz was probably there the most during your journey through? Prison? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Safe to say that. So shout out to Triz for shout being there. Triz. But you know Triz went into the archives for me. You was the head of the poetry team in prison. Man, get the fuck out of here, man! I, I didn't, oh, listen, listen, listen. You no. was the head of the poetry you know the team. In prison. I had a lot of programs up there. Who you know the fuck out? Oh, what the fuck shit. is that? Let me read it. That's an old letter, probably. That ain't... <laughs> no, no, no. What does that say on the front? This is poetry. Oh, oh, all right. No, 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 no. Let me say something. Let me that say something. That looked like oh, jail paper. Oh, let me say something. Oh, oh, oh. Let, is, let me say something. Let me that's say from your oh, little no, notepad. No, no, let me just say this. Let, let me say this. This you what I'm going to say. You can auction this no, off, Wallo. No, no, this what I'm going to say. This what I'm going to say. No, no, I sent it to my brother. I sent him a letter. No, no, listen. What happened was I was in jail and I wanted to be deep. I'm not going front. I went through the moment. You wanted to be deep? Yeah, you know, motherfuckers, before I went to jail, dudes were going to jail. So you wanted to be Sharif. Muhammad Rahim no, I just want to be a deep nigga. Mustafa. Listen, I just like wanted that. to be a deep dude that just dropped deep shit when I called home from jail. Like a lot of motherfuckers done before I came. With the so, fat girls. So when I got so when I got in jail, I knew a couple of boys that was deep. You know what I mean? Me, Saif. It was some couple brothers. Shout out that to Saif, man. That was deep. Extra deep. And I wasn't it wasn't no poet. It was just we were staying in the yard. So what, so three. to the people that's watching, when you say you wanted to be deep, yeah, what the what, fuck? What, what, what you mean? No, deep is like when you get in jail, you just know anything and you just be talking some deep shit. And so you just like know, what? Give us an example. I know people in jail that know this. This is probably I know like three, four motherfuckers that'll battle anybody. They the smartest motherfuckers in the world. <laughs> I'm just being. I'm like just being the, straight okay, up. Why? Wow, because yeah. they was locked up forever and wrote, read all the books. All that you know how that shit go. But listen, the whole thing is like just being deep. So I was on my poetry ship because that was a part. Was of you being, on the poetry team? No, fuck the yeah, poetry team. Listen, listen, listen. He was the it hand. was a couple of you standing in the yard and dropped. Can we just read? Can you read this for us? Let me read one of this. His. What's it called? I guess it's called deep. Okay. It the fuck out of it. It calls no deep. That's fucked up. Dog, the, the second line says life is deep. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, no, but it's really, that one is called, that was one of my first Hold ones, though. It's uh, not okay, that. Okay. Poetry from prison by Wallace Peoples. Don't say no. Don't, don't, that was don't. Nice the, intro. You fucking dog, it up. Don't, don't remix that. Do it again. Is to sell my home. <laughs> How you say that? that I'm reading how you say that. Can we it, stop? Bro. Come on. Is to sell my home. Life is deep. I'm losing sleep. The judge killed me, but no blood. Deep shit. Brother of the night, wrong or right. Peace is my weapon. Don't need to fight. So it's safe to say he was bitching in jail. No, I was just You deep. was copping, please. I was on some deep Did he peace. say my peace was my no, weapon? No, peace is my weapon. Okay. I don't need to fight. He, like he was bitching in jail. No, I wasn't. I wasn't was bitching. Bitching I wasn't bitching. You was all I was just be, peace, peace is my was, weapon. Nigga, nigga, I was you had a peace. I was trying to get deep. Ah, ah, fuck I was trying to get about, deep. You talk about peace is my weapon. <laughs> Niggas chasing you all through the fucking tear. Peace is my weapon. I don't need to fight. See, I knew you was going through some shit or you wouldn't have wrote that. Right? I was trying to be deep. He said, he said brother of the night, wrong or right. Peace is my weapon. No need to fight. It's nice. My glasses on look deep too right now. Aryan yeah. nation trying to grab me. <laughs> My celly trying to stab me. Mm. No, hold on. Aryan nation. What? Aryan nation trying to stab me. I didn't say that part. My celly trying to grab me. I just <laughs> late night wanna ass tag me. Whoa! <laughs> Yo, he's a rapper. You fucking lied to him. Who remixing my shit? 
it says Arianation. You remix my to stab me. My celly trying to grab me. Late night wanna ask. Yo, this man is you fucking. He didn't remix my song. I did. What you mean that you didn't remix my song? What was going on, bro? Trying to change my name from Walla to Tammy. Listen, he remixed my fucking poetry. That that's so the Arianation was on your name. I didn't write no deep shit. No, I didn't. I knew something was coming up. You altered some shit in there. All right. Come on, man. You fucking. My heart turned cold. Long days in a hole. 23 and 1. What have I become? <laughs> I'm totally sick. You just lied to me, man. No, I'm, I'm, bro. You just lied to me, This is though. nice. I'm totally sick. Every day beating my dick. I did say that. I did say that. I did say that. <laughs> that part. But the part Why that you put in there about the Aryan brother. Dick in it? it was good. No, Why just, would you do that? Because it's deep. It's just, <laughs> That's not deep. Real. It's real. It's reality of the hard time. You could have said masturbation. You just no, fucked the flow up. Look, I got a whole. Look, he got a whole nother joint. Look at this joint. Oh, look. Shit. Fake ass. Look, look at this shit, bro. Oh, I, I, ain't, I ain't never even read this shit. Like. There ain't another joint. You was a, you, yes, it is. You was oh, in here. You was in. You was in this joint writing real live poems from prison. Don't life. you sell these on barstools.com? No. Prison feeling like my life is coming to an end. I feel like going to the yard and marrying two men. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Let me know. No, you like it. <laughs> my liar, Let I'm me say. <laughs> Gil remix that. That ain't my shit. You know his handwriting. No, no, you remix that shit. You remix it is jail shit. paper. Oh wow, shit, wow. low. No, this oh, is, my, my thing God. is, twenty years. You probably went through phases. Oh, Nobody's what? judging you. That nigga, you. Dog, that nigga said, "Prison got my life <laughs> coming to an end." I feel like going to the yard and holding hands with two men. This nigga lying. This nigga lying. This nigga lying. He said. He said. He said. He said oh, the mail is slow. <laughs> I didn't even receive a card. Oh my God. I'm going to meet Beyonce and get married in a prison. You now, know they know you lying. That's what it's saying. He, he, listen, he did that. That's he forged that. I did not write that shit. So you wasn't writing poems in jail? Yeah, but I, but I ain't write that shit, man. <laughs> but you <laughs> did say beating your dick. You did say No, that. I remember that so, part. So you trying to say I, so you trying to say I'm reading some of this shit, but then the other no, shit. No, you re, use a rapper. You know how to remix stuff, Gil. <laughs> Remix you with the Puff Daddy some shit. You just did some some Diddy shit, man. You it remix. says it on there. Man, so you want to you want to give us one of your originals? Yeah, I would like love to hear one, Wallow, and I want to snap out. So just do it right. No, because I don't really like a lot of them. I try to because after I broke out of the deep phase, I try, I forgot a lot of my poetry. But I probably could try to freestyle one. Go ahead. Uh, let me see. I gotta be deep. I gotta get in deep mode. I love poetry. I'm deep. I'm close to the worms in the dirt. Sitting in the cell, it really hurt. Sometimes I feel like touching myself, thinking about a big booty girl in a skirt. What the fuck? I want some work. <laughs> As I, Guys, what the fuck, Wallo? I cannot take that serious and do the snappy thing when you talk. No, I was like being that. deep, but I listen. Why does it get so sexual? Because I was he horny. Was in jail. Prison. You <laughs> home? You off the top? You I'm home? I'm talking about jail. I was. But I you just, still on butt no, no, and ber- jerking no, no, off? No, I went back into jail mode as the deep because that's what I had to go back to jail mode to be able to drop that type of deep poetry. Wow. See, my shit was deep. No, Subcon- Listen, subconsciously, I'm thinking. Because I'm thinking subconsciously is I'm deeper than I want to be. Where I want to be is deep. But if I'm deep, how deep is it? Is I'm drowning? Ocean? Swimming pool? Bathtub? I need a body rub. My life is walking by me. I wonder why. Where are you going? You didn't even speak to me. But my deepness say that you did, even though I didn't hear you. See, that's how deep my shit was. <laughs> what the fuck? My shit was deep. That was it. Yo. That was it. I like that. Hey, my yo, shit was You talented. Yo. That nigga left nigga's all talented. his sense of prison. I like that. I was deep in Good jail, Good job, Wallo. Good job. <laughs> For no reason, huh? We was just deep. It was that, You had nothing but, but time. The, Balls but deep. But the question is, was your celly ever deep? Uh, uh, I wouldn't say so. Did he I, ever I go deep? He too much asshole. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He too much Whoa, whoa, no. No, you talking about poetry? No, I don't know nothing about none of that. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, let me ask y'all a question. What would you do 
to give you twenty million dollars. But you can't have sex no more for the rest of your life. You can only kiss on the lips and grind. Can I rub one out? Hmm? Can I rub one out? Yeah, you can rub one out. Take it. What? <laughs> yes, yeah, sign me up. So I'll do it for ten. So at ten million you ain't you you ain't taking no more dick for the no rest of your life. Dick bye. Bye. Bye dick. Bye. Yes, I can rub one out. So you, I have never so rubbed one out and didn't get so there. So you're just going to be in there playing the guitar for the rest of your fucking... <laughs> or taking long baths. So you're just going to have all that money and can't even get no dick. You just stress the fucking bitch that's on the, Sesame Street now, now with you a know bunch what? of money. I'm going to be coming. Uh, hormones all over the place. No, I'm going to be coming. I'm just not going to be... Fucking a man. No, now, now, now. I came way now, more now, times alone than I have with a man. That's a fact. Now, now, something like that. Most is a women big come from themselves, not from men. Men don't know how to make you come. Everybody knows that. Mm. Oh, what hey, niggas you, you was fucking over? Oh, she go. got here them here raggedy go. dicks. We she, can do statistics. We can do what statistics. statistics. Do the statistics. Numbers. If it's four niggas in here, three of y'all have terrible. So dick. I'm the only one making my woman come. That's what you that's, say. That's interesting. That's, that's what you say. Yeah. Damn, we know you ain't put enough work in to even know how to. Would you, would Honestly, you? though, you got to be fucking for a while to know how to make a woman come. So Absolutely. Statistically, while you can't I, I, be laying uh, yeah, dick down yet. Yeah, but you ain't been fucking long enough. Cause Damn near virgin. Just keep it, yeah, you, you know, you've been I mean, fucking for four years. Like, let's be for real. You, you had got 20 your, with no got, pussy, then four with pussy, so you really a virgin. Right. And then you, you got your first head in jail. You basically right. in fucking your sophomore year of college. Right. Let me explain something to and, you. And you, 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 love, and you in love with BB. Let me explain something you, to you. You got a girlfriend, so that shut the pussy down totally. Let me, let me, let me just explain something to you. Before, when I was out here in these streets. You didn't have no bitches, low. <laughs> you didn't have no bitches. I was with you. I was out here slinging you had a couple and banging. Little, you had a couple little, little tenders. I was out here. You had a couple tenders. I get all it right. to you. I ain't going to say you had no, but you had, a couple, you had a couple tenders. And all of them used to call you looking for me. Damn you, where you at? They did. You but broke they, my bed last no, no, night. No, 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 no. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he broke my bed. <laughs> yeah, jumping up and down, making videos on that motherfucker. No, I was vicious. Get up out your seat. Get up out your bed. You got to get up out your bed. Nigga, you done <laughs> broke my bed with this inspirational record, shit. Just for the record, only, like, see, you take shit too far. Like, <laughs> only one bitch ever called me about the work you put in order. What'd she say? It was a little chubby little bitch from the Northeast. She got <laughs> she would not let you <laughs> That little chubby bitch would not let you go. Chubby checkers, she would not let you go. And I I, I you had a Chubby to, Chaser Wallow, you no, like I, big listen, girls? I had no, to tell him. I had to tell him. I even had to give her up top because you you fucked the <laughs> lining out of her jacket. <laughs> like, Cause that bitch went from she the bitch started off begging and I talked about this on the podcast earlier. I don't know what she did to Wallow, but I think after they fucked, she must have said something about a relationship or something. Then Wallow just went missing an action on the bitch <laughs> because the bitch even hit two up in the DM. She hit me about 11 times. Kelly, can you talk to Wallow? Tell him what I said. I didn't really mean it. I take it back. Blah, blah, Damn, blah. What she said? Then, then another text come. Another DM come. Kelly, please tell Wallow I'm sorry. I do whatever. Gilly, why is he treating me like this? I called him to the... Gilly. I'm like... So I'm showing him, dog, what the fuck is going on? He won't never say nothing. No, he's little, 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 little bitch. I hit the bitch. I'm going to tell you what happened. What they happened? start tripping, man. You know what I mean? I had to... You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you what happened. Now, we was... When we used to be getting it in, she... The first time we got it in, the way I used to talk to her, she's like, nobody never talked to me like this. But you said. Because she had all her shit together, right? She used to but, be but, fucking, but, but, no, but listen, listen. She was used to dealing with bum niggas, right? Mm. So my whole style and the way I was blazing her was all, it was graphic. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No, no, I'm gonna be straight up, because I want, listen, listen. It was graphic. The first time I slide up in the spot, she loved it. I grabbed the pillow off her couch, threw it on the ground. She went to work, right? She was like, oh my God, nobody never tell her. So she glazing me and I tell her, don't cheat me. <laughs> don't cheat me. Don't cheat me, treat me. Oh my 
So I'm told, standing up so on the couch. So you told me to get them nuts. Listen, I listen to so did you tell her get them nuts? Get them nuts. I had these vans on. Don't, I had don't a, leave my cousin's house. Don't no, leave no, my no, cousin's house. No, no, no. I had my feet on the couch, right? I had the vans on, right? Yeah. I said, no, don't cheat me, treat so she, me. So she sucked like, dick listen, with some listen, dirty vans. Dishy. So listen, and I had the socks pulled up. She's a savage. I said, listen, on some old school shit. Some dirty I said, listen, and I told her one thing. I said, nah. She's a savage. No, 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 no. I said, classy, bougie, listen, listen. I told her to get. I told her to get. I said, no, go down, go down there and get them things. Get them nuts. She loved me for that. Yeah. I said, don't cheat. I said, no, nah, you don't. Don't do me like that. Don't play with me. Yeah. I said, I, I said, listen, handle, you handle your business. Don't make me fuck you. She yeah. went crazy. Yeah. And then I blazed her. Yeah. I was, bla I was, I was. Wow. Listen, I was blazing her. Like I'm talking about like crazy. Blazing the and car. It was graphic. Blazing the stairway. You called her a bitch. Uh, do y'all love it? Don't listen. Yeah. I might have, but 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 see the whole I thing. Might have. Whore. <laughs> listen, the whole thing of this, the whole thing of. She had me fucked up. Did you let her spit in your mouth? No, I ain't like into that. Did. Tell the she, truth. No. <laughs> she, had up. Up. Always, she had me fucked up. She had me fucked up. Listen, nigga. she had me fucked up because she was mistaking my dick work for my video work. She had me fucked up. What you mean? She had she thinking I'm, you know, oh, oh yeah. You, oh, she think you gonna be some positive shit. No, no, I'm yeah, yeah, he, he got to get the nuts. He got real ink in the pussy. Out, you know Just jail while right Hold on, right bitch. You ever had a Glock 19 stuffed in your mouth? No, what happened? No, what happened is. When, when you listen, listen. Hit when you the safety off this dick, so no, 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 listen, shots listen. off. Bitch. When you drop that pillow, listen. <laughs> he hey, he no. all in this. She like, man, it's a nigga that get up. No, what, what you doing today? I'm gonna tell life you, yes. Life is. Look, is I'm a man. I come out of the attack. Life. She looking for that. Day. She no. think he gonna motivate her. He he in there talking about oh, right nut, left nut. You better get all nuts. I ain't say that. Oh, get the wall nuts. Listen, listen, Mona, <laughs> get, Mona, get, the, Mona, get the wall. Mona, no. <laughs> When Did you tell her get the wall, no. get the when, wall nuts. When I grabbed that pillow, threw it on the joint, put my foot right here, and grabbed that hair like this, and did like this, and pulled. Oh my God! It's too much. It's too rapid. That's <laughs> too much. And pistol whip it. Too much. She said, "Oh, this nigga for real." You pistol whip it. Too much. Now I'm gonna tell you the rest. So what did she do? No, did this what happened? I was slaying and spraying her. Right. One day, she's a Latina woman. She's Latino too. One, you know they fiery. Yeah, she la, called la, me mother. Shout out to Fifth Street. No, no, she ain't called. Listen, she called me one day, right? She called me one day, snapping. You ain't been taking my calls. You gonna stop fucking playing me? Boom, 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 bang. I say cool. I say pokey. No, 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 no. Listen, I say cool, right? I say cool. I say okay. Fuck it. I never told you this. Scythe might tell you this. Some deep shit. So. I'm like, damn. So I'm. She don't know where I live at. I used to meet at McDonald's on Broad and, Broad and Allegheny, right? So she pulled up one day, and I'm coming. I'm, I don't know what made her say just park. She was just posted there, and I like seeing her car. I'm like, what the fuck is she doing at your the, house? No, not at my house. At McDonald's in the parking lot on Broad and Allegheny. Okay. So I'm coming across Broad Street because I used to go with this little Chinese store over there. You know, this one I was uh, on the budget. This when you was a uh, uh, chicken wing platter. No, 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 no. The, king. the, the ten, the ten scallops <laughs> fried rice. Uh, so hey, listen, scallop king. Yeah, I used to get them. So listen, Chinese store. Abandoned. I see a car. I'm like, that's a car. She brrr, pull up on me quick. Listen. She all she did, she had the gun and a, a little shiny, it must have been like a 380 in the passenger seat. She's like, Stop playing with me, Pa. Stop playing. I'm like, Ooh. Oh, shit. I'm like, Then the pop, poppies be going through this yes. shit. Yes. I'm like, What you mean? No, I just been. So she rolled up on you with that heat and you start Listen, bitching. No, <laughs> let, let, let's get no, to the no, point. No, you start yes, bitching. Sum Whoa, it up. No, no, Wait, no, no, ma, no, no, no. You went to Rosque Pollo? No, 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 no. She called you Poppy and told you she'd blow your motherfucking head off. No, 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 no. No, no, Poppy, no. stop playing with me, Pop. She said you keep playing, Pop. I'm gonna knock out your fucking rice and beans. Mira, it's a gun in the passenger seat. I blow your fucking head. No, 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 no. What you calling? Her? Don't call that bitch. No, shh. Sh oh, he's no, calling no, no. Scythe. About to say, bitch. He will go kill. Oh, hey, Scythe. Scythe. Yeah. What happened that time when I was down in Atlanta and you had to go to Nanny House about what was left in the door? We on the podcast, Sife. They call me, right? Yeah. So I think it was Troy called me. Troy called me. So he like, yo, this is something happening. This is, this is a nanny doing and shit, right? So I'm like, what? Then that somebody left some the nanny doing. So I'm like, I'm already in the hood. I go to the fucking door, right, bro? Yeah. The two kids was like, yeah, they put it in the door right there. Listen, yo, it was a fucking brick, right? An AK-47, but... 
and the motherfucking 12 gauge bullet. Oh, you dick cut down. <laughs> listen, I'm going I'm to I'm call you back, Saif. No, listen. But no, listen. It had a fucking folder, right? With all these cut out little letters, like out of magazines. Ooh. Like, yeah, I'm going to get you. The only thing that came to my mind was like, oh, shit. <laughs> who this nigga? Who? I said, damn, I killed somebody. <laughs> Damn, I'm the gonna call you the, back. She did, she did the way in the exit. I mean, not the way. I'm gonna call you back. Uh, the and now, oh. the now, listen, so listen. The so listen. So now. <laughs> so now. I don't want to tell this nigga because he gonna be. So I'm just like because because I'm like, gonna grind you the fuck up. That the bitch. T- but tell I listen, the truth. No, no, no. Your bitch ass nigga. Now you're telling me now. I ain't it was nothing. Listen, 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 listen. You might be getting that up. bitch attention right now. No, no, now. chill, chill, chill. Listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna say this. Fucking nigga. So, bitch so I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna say this at nanny house. I'm gonna say this, Mona. Her ass No, Mona. Mona, put some fucking respect on my name because ain't none of these niggas had. Never had. Listen, I give you that. Listen, I was. I don't play. I don't play no fucking games. No, 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 no. Well, I ain't him. First, 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 first. Don't hype no nigga dick up without without you. You don't know the work he put in. He could have. She's ate a woman. She first of all, he could have. A brick and two no, no, bullets. No, 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 no. He could have ate the bitch. He could have put his whole tongue in the bitch back of bitch ass and did the swivel joint. You could have ate a little like, ass. Like, That's like, dick. Like, That's like dick, he was wow. making snow cones in her ass. That's dick. He could have put the tongue in her ass and did the huh. swivel joint. Guns is dick all the time. Yeah. She did a little she eggs or something. No. And shit. Guns, that's the second. Because first it was a gun, oh, then so it's niggas, the bullets. Okay, Let so you know, nigga. Poppy, I put this so thing then, together. So that's that's so it. So what's the craziest thing you ever did about some dick then? I chased a nigga from Broad and Erie to City Line Avenue on a slow speed chase because they was doing work on 76. Damn. And I kept pulling up to the nigga car and making Damn. my cousin hold the wheel. And I kept banging on the window telling that bitch, I'm going to eat that jacket off your back, bitch. Because I was like 250 at the time. I was big. She was little. She was scared Damn. to death. It worked. Oh, shit. She was scared she to said. death. She <laughs> said, I chased her from the evil bar, bar <laughs> to fucking city line. God damn. So, <laughs> so wait. So, eat so when you. Bitch, well, let me tell you something. Off your back, let me ask bitch. you a question. So when you was a little heavy D, right? Yes. That's all you thought about was eating? That was I mean, I would threaten the came, bitch. Like, that's the best shit you came up with? <laughs> bitch, I'm going to eat the jacket off you, bitch. It sound tough. What? I'm heavy no, with the word class. She was scared. She was scared. <laughs> she was scared. Like, she said she's going to eat my Calvin Klein I mean, jacket. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I used to tell bitches I'll bite your face. This bitch said she's going to eat my Michael Kors jacket. What is wrong with this bitch? Animal. Oh, they going to hit you with when you the big bitch. You big bitch. You big bitch. So, yeah, bitch, and I'm hungry. I eat you for lunch, bitch. Let's go. Did you ever eat somebody? You know when you you know when you the big girl they call you for the fight. You know when you the big girl they call you for the fight. You gotta be the you gotta well, jump out the wheel. First of all, okay, go first crazy, of all, first of all, smack on your head. Let's go. Boy, first, of all, first of all, first of all, boy, it's fucked you up down. though. It's fucked up though when you get that big girl there and she got that the skinny athletic bitch though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that move around that, though. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, that wear shit. the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, happens. Yeah, it happens. I mean? it then, happens. Then, then, then I'm gonna just keep it all the way real for all the big bitches. Let me just tell you all the key to winning fights. Don't you dare trip, bitch, and hit that ground. <laughs> yeah, me, mm. bitch, you hit that ground. It was a long ride trying to get up. You know the big <laughs> bitches gotta get up. You act like you was giving up a secret, nigga. All the big bitches know not to fall unless they fall on top of your little ass. You know the big bitches gotta get up like this. By the time you get up, bitch, put the foots in the thousand. It's already on World Star. Yeah, it's a World Star after you get up. It's over. Did y'all ever think about that thing? When we grew up, we could get in a fight, get our ass whipped, and leave it there. It was a rumor. Now you get your ass whipped just online. To the skinny bitches, right? The secret is to the big bitches, don't let her grab you. Don't she get, get that one day. hand That's on you, fact. bitch. Grab that you like a grab. Twinkie, bitch. Grab you and squeeze you like a Twinkie. All the feeling come out you when they get that one grab on you. <laughs> oh lord, she know about the one grab. She said she used to be a big girl and she, she said went to she jail. She was gonna fucking yeah. eat the jacket off your back. Right. Eat the jacket off your back. What the bitch. fuck? That's what I'm talking about. It sounds tough. Y'all liked it. Hey, listen. It was uh the tackler's birthday. Nigga went to Vegas and lost his mind. Yes, lost he his really mind. Lost it. Ball, man. Mm-hmm. He's back. The gambler. He's back. The gambler. Let me ask you a question. The gambler. Because <laughs> prostitution is legal in Vegas. Was you out there ordering the hookers? Yes, how many? Man, come on, dog. Uh, I'm just asking. I, just, ask, look, I just had to ask. I'm just saying, you know, because you was out there for who the fuck goes to Vegas? Hey, bro, for two what days? happens in Vegas hey, stays in Vegas. Oh, okay. That's the yeah, whole yeah, game. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, who the fuck go to Vegas for two days and end up there for three weeks? I'm just saying. Hey, look, because the Washington football team beat the shit out of them Eagles. That's why. We ain't going to talk about that. 
Yeah, and, and I had a hundred thousand dollar bet on them Play skins, red skins, football team, nameless mascot, ass team. We beat y'all right. ass. Shout out to Wayne's Trashkins. He did his thing. But um, How, put some respect on Dwayne Haskins. Shout out to name, the Roma Proof, man. <laughs> Wayne Trashkins. You just shout out to Dwayne, my Dwayne name Carson Wentz trash, trash ass. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. But shout out to Roma Proof, man. You helping motherfuckers out here get the money, man. Come on, man. Let's let's, let's break down some of the Roma Proof, man. Tell them how they can get their money on, man. Yeah, we can talk about Rona Proof in a second, but uh, what about them Eagles, though? Man, listen, man. <laughs> it's week one, man. <laughs> by, week, one by, by week seven, you niggas will be done. All right. As mm. long, as, long as you just got that off, use all that fly Eagles, fly bullshit and everything else. Uh, I all paid right? you, player. There ain't nothing else to talk about. I appreciate that contribution uh, to my birthday, brother. Thank all you. All love. Woo. Thank you. Yes. But Rona Proof. <laughs> Let's go. So, listen. I'm going to give some different game this week because okay. everybody been hearing me talk about uh, RonaProof.com and go watch the webinar. Well, a little bit about like uh, how you can actually make money without even watching a webinar, all right? So I'm gonna shortcut some of the, you know, having to go watch two and a half hours, I'm gonna give you some real direct game. So the whole idea of what wholesaling is, is to find people that are distressed sellers. They got foreclosures, something like that about to happen. So I got a data source that I use. It's, a, you can, it's called PropStream. With this data source, it basically lists all the distressed sellers that's in the area. So I can go, hey, let me go look at 19133 in Philly, and mm -hmm. I can go everybody in that area that got a foreclosure. What if, I wanna, what, what if I'm in Philly and I want to look in Memphis? You Anywhere. It can take it. You got, oh. it's literally all across the, uh, the, uh, the world. I mean, the U.S., you get access oh, to damn. the data. So mm -hmm. you get a seven day free trial. It's called closersdata.com. So, oh, so I go in there for free for seven days and just get shit? Closersdata.com, you get literally seven days free. You can get access to hundreds of thousands of records. And what you can do is you can go through, and I and I show you on my YouTube channel the, the, the way to use the uh, the system. So you don't even have to spend any money beyond just using the free trial, uh, www.closersdata.com. On there, you can go through and just pull records. So, hey, look, I'm going to pull everybody <coughs> in Philly that's got a foreclosure pending. Everybody in Philly that has... Uh, uh, a tax lien. Everybody in Philly that that's owned their house for at least five years and has at least fifty percent equity. So now we're gonna find all these people that got the properties, and we're just gonna send them a text message. Just simply send them a text message and say, "Hey, look, I noticed that you got a pro this property on, right here in Philly. I I want to know if you'd be interested in taking a cash offer on it." And we just only we don't give a fuck about the people that say no because it's just taking a, a broad net and hitting everybody that you know got a problem going on. Because everybody not gonna want to do business with you, right? But we want we know some of those people gonna be like, shit, I'm in a bad situation and I have to do something. And that's what the whole idea of what I teach is called, we, like I always tell people, it's like the pawn shop of real estate. So you don't need the license or anything to get started, but you need data. And we're gonna use closersdata.com. You get seven days free. You go in there, you can find all the pre foreclosures, tax liens, all the properties in your area, and they got an app so you can do it on your cell phone. So it's a dope part about it. You can use either the app or yourself uh, or, your, or your, uh, your laptop, get access to all the data, and that's where you go and start finding leads to get paid right now. So that's that's my game for this week. So all the motherfucking need is a phone. You really, phone or laptop. Laptop is gonna give you a little bit more access to be able all to right. see iPad or whatever, but the the big, obviously if you got a computer, it's gonna make it a little bit easier to be yeah. able to use the system, but yo, you can literally go and find these distressed homes in, in anywhere from across the world. Yeah. And, and now you get in contact with them. Seven people. days free. Trust. Seven days free. Listen, jump on that, y'all. Ronaproof.com and, and closersdata.com. Yep. Closersdata.com. All right, that's what's up, man. Let's get in a million dollars worth of game. Gilly, I got into it with my ex girlfriend back in March because I caught her smoking weed with her brother. And she was three months pregnant. I beat his ass. <laughs> then, she, oh, shit. then she got a protective order against me. Then sets me up. He really, be, <laughs> he really be hit that yeah, ass. He fucked him up. To, she calls me to the doctor appointment. I get there. I get arrested. Oh my god! Now I'm on home detention. I'm thinking of signing my rights over. Damn. What should I do? Don't sign what your rights over to your kid. Come like, on. Like how you gonna like how yeah. how your motherfucking baby mom smoking weed with her brother turn into you talk about I'm, I'm thinking about giving my rights up to my kids you a raggedy ass nigga, nigga you double r you raggedy raheem out she this told bitch. on you get away from him fuck wrong with you no 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 she, she, lead I'm, a family she a civilian 
She too, cause he blacked her she fucking smoked brother weed, eyes all the fuck up, split her brother head to the fucking white, white meat <laughs> about, 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 about the about the blood. Some he, and look, he ain't hit her though. He was mad as shit that she was smoking weed, so he was like, yo, I'm gonna fuck your brother up because you ain't had no business smoking. Right, but what okay. I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, like, and I'm not encouraging to smoke weed while you're pregnant or none of that shit. I would never do that, but my mom smoked weed my whole pregnancy. That's, that's why you're crazy. That's what 100%. it is. It makes we, sense. We already talked now about that. Now we know you're fucking crazy. That's where the anger come from. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. Weed and fetus, all, fetuses causes anger all, problems. Fuck all three of you bitches. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I'm thinking something about. like that. First I thought she might have ate paint. I turned the fuck out cool. <laughs> or lick paint. First of all, you said you turned out so cool. So much your mama was smoking wet. Who the no. fuck said she you turned out cool? No, it was my father. Wait, wait, wait. You a little off. Wait, and if I didn't know Jack, if Jack wasn't family, I would probably say Jack was on some shit too. But I ain't gonna do that, no, Jack, because I know I get that. the goddamn call. She wasn't like you the fuck. You the fuck goofy. You know what I mean? I ain't worried about you. I'm worried about Jack that hitting that motherfucker line. Did you, you fuck it? Did crazy. you say I was smoking fucking Because she would call. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> wait till I get wait till the he next time. He made reunion, out all right. I'm gonna kill normal. you. He think he normal. You're I am fucking, normal. You're a fucking nah, professional loser and a lunatic. You a double L. You and niggas you are equally thrown off. You listen, you a loser. I agree with him, You're a loser and a lunatic. That's a double L, and you used to wear LLs back in the day. Long levers. Yeah, bitch, I ain't <laughs> never seen You used to wear the long <laughs> levers, nut ass, ass nigga. You had the three quarter limb triple fat goose, nut bitch. Nut ass nigga, you used to wear double L's. First of all, I remember he used to come. Lever. First of all, he used to, first of all, he had a three, the triple fat goose used to come down to here, right? Mm -hmm. But he wanted it so bad, he, you know he was a booster. He stole <laughs> a size that was too big for him and still wore it. So he used to be coming up the subway steps, his shit dragging all on the steps. Come to you was a booster? Shit. Yeah, what? I was the a little bit of you mean? That's what's up. Why you think his name Wallow? I didn't know how, how? From the low lives, but we were talking oh, about Oh, you was in the low lives? Okay, the old niggas used to snatch the love, right? They was up in New York too. Yeah. Why How I'm supposed to know that this nigga's Wallow from the low like Okay, on. wait, so so you just think his nigga's name Wallow. Look, I know a lot of your history. I can't Rick know all Lowe. you old niggas' history. PM Low, Doug Low. It Jug all makes Lowe, sense now. You see a shit connected in my brain, guys at home? Stupid low, dickhead low, dummy low. It was a bunch of them niggas. Idiot low. <laughs> it was a gang of them niggas. He's going at the low life niggas. That's see, crazy. uh, I want to say something to our to our supporters out there. Did y'all used to catch this up? One thing about me, I'm a professional ignorer. I ignored <laughs> losers like him because he's a loser. I don't, I don't, I really don't understand how some of you people out there even pay this guy any fucking attention. Did y'all do snatch your grabs with trash bags? A legendary loser. Can you tell a booster story? He'll be sitting there talking to me, telling me some some goofy shit about myself, and I'll just be like, I know this guy's crazy. Cause I'll be having conversations <laughs> in my head as he's talking to me. I'd be like, what this loser's about to say now. So it was three people talking at once. Right. He, he'd be telling me all this he, shit. He, yeah, but, yeah. but see, we'd be yeah. in the car, he talked to himself and he answered the questions. Yeah, I gotta go down there. Yeah, you do gotta go down see, there. See, that's when you know like, you crazy. Oh, fuck. It's cool to talk to yourself, but to respond is crazy. No, 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 no. No. He asks his own self questions. No. Like sometimes it'd be like, I'd just be sitting there, I'd be like, this nigga forgot I'm in the car. That's what it is. We'd be driving, he'd be like, fuck, Abel be tripping, man. <laughs> fuck. Man, let me go ahead and call him back. Like, no. Like, did he pick his phone up? He's like, babe, he yeah. So I'm like, did, did this nigga not know I'm in the car? He's comfortable like, around you. Did, no, 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 no. He's just crazy. Nigga just be out of nowhere. Damn, I'm hungry. You probably should go down there and get that sandwich that you got before. I'm like, dog, did this nigga just tell himself <laughs> that he probably should go down there? Yeah, that sandwich was pretty good. I read a book in jail called... Uh, the conversation with one, right? And he told me that uh, this is healthy. It, they actually one of the smartest dudes I know wrote this jail, wrote this book. It wasn't published. He wrote so this nigga in jail wrote it. another nigga who had a bunch of time who sat in the hole talked to him. He was smart. This nigga was he smart. He came up with the conversation. He knew him. everything. Like when I used to talk to him, this motherfucker knew. I'm talking about. He knew everything. What's the longest you ever been in the hole? Six months. Yeah, that shit called schizophrenia. He know everything in. It does. I'm talking about this dude was extraordinary. You know he was in a hole? I've done a lot of research. I never did it a hole, but I used to do the joint where they lock you in your own cell. So when you was in a hole, what's the craziest thing you did? Stories from the cell. I was in a hole, right? And uh, what was so crazy about it was that this was my first time in a hole during my whole time. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been in jail for over a decade. I was never, I never went to the hole because my whole thing was, I wasn't trying to be in jail, in jail. Mm -hmm. But did anybody ever go to your hole? See, I, I realized <laughs> that, I realized that you would have, you would have, you would have resigned your innocence in jail. I know you would have resigned. Gosh. Like, what are you talking about? You would have resigned your innocence. You would have, you, I'm talking about you would have really offered up your innocence out in there because you always wondering about that world. You're fascinated with the world of the underworld, the dark world of prison. You love that shit. <laughs> they could do a documentary on you. Like you would have just been in there. You'd have, you'd have been knowing all. You'd have been knowing all the party animals, the PAs. <laughs> so uh, I'm sitting in there, and I and I think it was a moment when I was in the hole, because you in the hole, you hearing people scream all the time. You had people just bang on the doors all night. You had people just being in their cells screaming. Ah, people on all type of psychotropic medication. Mm. And it was for a moment that uh, I don't know what happened. I just disappeared, and uh, I'm sitting in the cell, but I just I just evaporated. You know, I mean, I became the prison bar. It seemed like I just was in there, just and I'm talking about on a deep level, because this is when I had to revert back to my deepness and be able to make it through this moment that I was journeying through. I was with you at first, but but <laughs> I was with like in no, the I'm story. I'm talking some real some shit. shit. I'm talking some real shit because I'm sitting in this motherfucking joint by myself, locked in. And all you hear, and I'm talking about, you hear motherfuckers scream every day, bang on the door at the same time, every fucking day. Now you gotta, you worrying about if they lace your tray, if they spin in your tray, because mm. the motherfucker when you're tearing and flooded his cell and doing dumb shit, now they mad, they gotta do extra work on their shift. Mm. So you're like, man, I hope they ain't lace our trays. You know what I mean? You gotta make sure you're actually nice when you come to the, when they come to your fucking cell. You know what I mean? So they won't, you know, lace your tray or you, you wait and you keep standing, going back to the door, seeing if they're gonna pass mail out, you know, your little cubby hole. That shit would drive you crazy. And then mm. when I was on a, and then when I was on a uh, greatest floor, I was in a hole. We used to go to these dog cages, and we used to be out there with death row inmates. They had a death row block, and just talking to them, that shit drove me the fuck crazy. You know, I'm like, damn, how long you been on death row? Oh man, I first got on death row in '82. I'm like, it's 2014. You've been on death row, oh, so you've been in this little cell like this because it's not general population. Right. So just thinking about being in a fucking cell the size of a bed, a little bit bigger than some. Some people small bathrooms. It depends if you live in the inner city or wherever you live at. But uh, being in there since 1982, and motherfuckers still there right now, and you just going. So I'm talking to them, having these deep, see, deep conversations. Because I was the type of dude that when people come to me in jail, I would listen to them religiously, even if they told me some bullshit. Because I know within the bullshit, it was some some truth in there or some shit that was. But I knew that I was leaving one day, and a lot of people ain't leaving, so. Some people just needed an outlet to talk mm -hmm. and vent. You know what I mean? And then you you sitting there talking to somebody and the dude tell me, yeah, man, everybody died. Just out of nowhere. We be talking about, yeah, man, uh, cause I read in, read this one magazine. They be telling me, the GQ. I'm like, damn, you got some more magazines? Oh, could you send me? Yeah. Be talking about, a, a, what's his name? Then he'd just say out of nowhere. Yeah, man, it's 82, everybody died. I'd be like, so now I don't want to be too newsy. I'd be like, damn, what you, what you mean? Oh yeah, everybody know, all my family, everybody dies. I've been in here. Mm. Yeah, I don't know nobody no more. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker ain't no joke. And then you find out, and then then you go back, then you go back in the- uh, like, come, come on in the cell, you wanna be my family? No, 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 this this was deep. Then you go back, then you go back, and the motherfucker be like, hey, Wilo, cause, cause so everybody don't come to the yard, so the motherfucker look out the, cause like, here go your cell, <laughs> the door, and they go to, you can see outside in the little cages. Motherfucker like, Wilo, you know the boy you was talking to? You know that nigga had like motherfucking 15 motherfucking rape murders. I said, what? Mm. Oh, he's an animal, he's a savage. And I go back and I'm like, damn, dude, seem little. He seem he seem normal. What the fuck is going on? Mm. Cause all the people that was crazy. So in none jail, of his family is alive because he raped and murdered them. No, up. not them. Uh -huh. It was some other people. Uh -huh. But but listen, I was listen, I was in in jail with two brothers. I didn't even know they killed their fucking parents. So mm. I don't know. When I was working in the library, we get to talk. Like you know what I found strange? All the. All the motherfuckers that was a little off, they always talked to me for some reason. Because you a little fucking off. People attract no, no, like, fucking like off. people fucking attract. He's, he's yeah. almost birds of a feather. All the crazy people. No, they always like talk this. to me. You know what's so crazy to me? I didn't understand that. All the like, crazy people. I ain't people had no problem with nobody. Why do all the crazy anybody that kills somebody <laughs> and rapes somebody and stabs somebody till their arm fell out? They only talk to me when they talk to me. Drawn to you. Hold on, let me see the glasses real quick. Let me see the Felix grades real quick. This, this how you look. 
They always talk to me. I don't look like that. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Use it. You see, that's why I ignore it. Because they had killed they, they killed their pants and they come to that news. And then as soon as they come to I just that, was wondering, um, like, why? As soon as they get to jail, they come looking for me. We don't want to look. He's a nut ass nigga. He's a nut ass nigga. <laughs> fuck out of here. Let me see you in these glasses. I just was deep. <laughs> You look good. I know I look good. I make a white t-shirt look good, but that's a whole different deep. story. You hear me? Hey, listen. I was deep though. That let you know that my that I was somewhere else. Yeah, that let me know you was a nut ass nigga. Same nut ass nigga then that you is now. Hey, listen. We appreciate y'all for tuning each and every week, making us the number one music podcast in the country, man. We appreciate y'all support. Make sure y'all go to BarstoolSports dot com. Get your merch. Get your merch. Get, get your, your merch. merch. And uh, man, we appreciate y'all, man. We really do. I like these little shades, though. My shit look like, yeah. yeah Nigga looks real smart. Studious. Right? Nigga yeah. looks studious. Yeah. Yeah, I might, I Still might, look I, like might a loser. Bla- I might blaze too with these on. Yeah. Shout out mean? to FelixGreatGlasses.com, y'all. You know, but he's a loser. <clears throat> hey man, I'm celebrating break my birthday the rest of the month too. What's up? Where we Happy going? birthday! It's a party all month. Damn, he's snapping up. He ain't getting all the fucking money up yet. <laughs> Nigga just bought all them hookers out in Vegas. He's still fucking. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> <I'm just laying. laughs> hey, hey, listen. I see y'all next week. Make sure y'all tune in. It go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow two six seven. Um, don't call me white girl. We'll call her white girl because she look like a white girl. Go. Bye. And it's just like that. Right. <laughs>